Okay, in today's episode, we're going to ta talk about the ownership of startups and how the Web3 is about to change things. And, and there is also another fact, the political environment, uh, basically the difference as we can see between Europe, uh, United States and Asia, where they tend to manage things differently. Let's, let's dive into how Web3 is changing the startup's ownership and, uh, and especially the ownership of a concept. Hi again. So we already talked about that in Web3, basically, we are, about, we are able to create an organization that could not even be a business oriented, but it can be also non-profit or a business oriented. And, and the thing is the uh, ownership of that uh, business can be, can belong to a company or not. Yeah. That, that, that being said, we uh, we can see and especially here when we are in uh, in asia uh, as i'm right now in singapore we can see that these type of countries like uh, um, not only singapore but there is a lot of uh, application that has been just copycat uh, from uh, from uh, uber for example uh, i am right now in a, in a grab driver and grab a car and uh, and that's very interesting because this application works exactly the same way as uber and um, and I think, you know, in software, there is no pattern. There is no uh, IP in uh, just creating an application to meet uh, clients and drivers. So uh, the behavior that we have in uh, in uh, Europe and in France is totally different than what we can see here in uh, in Asia. Because in Asia, they uh, they be, I think they kind of uh, they uh, they uh, think about uh, their uh, their own. Uh, I would say. Uh, benefits and interests. Uh, while he, in Europe, we just say, okay, the American were the first one to launch the Uber uh, uh, principle. So let them uh, make tons of money with uh, our uh, environment, with our drivers. And, um, and, uh, and yeah, I have, uh, I have had, uh, it's very hard to me to decide what is the good things to do or not, because we can agree that Uber, for example, had the idea on the beginning, they invested tons of money and they spent like many, many years to become profitable. And uh, and now for uh, new companies that deployed all over the world, it's quite easy actually to uh, to replicate, to copycat what exists on Uber, and in the end to drive back the tr the business in uh, in your own country. So why I'm talking about that is because with Web3 soon we will be able to launch new initiative launch new businesses uh, and then uh, uh, we will be able to establish this type of businesses almost everywhere in the world uh, thanks to web3 thanks to the blockchain everything will be secured uh, the, the, the the software will be the third party be before between buyers and uh, and, uh, and sellers and uh, and uh, maybe we should wonder what should we do what should we do in uh, in europe what should we do because tons of business are to be honest, initiated in the United States, in the Silicon Valley. Um, the initial ideas are there, at least the one that uh, really uh, uh, thrive and, and works because they have tons of investments up front. And, uh, and we should wonder, okay, are we gonna let all the startups from uh, the, the, the United States uh, be uh, like just uh, operating the entire world? Or are we going to, at some point, launch some new initiative in our own countries, like they do it in Asia, like as they do it in China, etc., where they basically create their own version of uh, Facebook, their own version of uh, Uber, and, and I'm pretty sure they might be soon, if it's not existing already, some uh, their own version of Airbnb. So, real question. Uh, now, Web3 is going to change that, where and uh, and we know that uh, the right now the the real value. Is not anymore in the concept. The real value is not even anymore in the software. The real value is in the amount of users that are using your platform. Uh, basically, talking about uh, VC, with VCs in the past few days, uh, they focus really on the amount of users that you have and the amount of users that you are able to get on a daily basis. If you have a very rapid growth, they don't care if you make money or not. If you have a rapid growth, they are interested. If you don't have a rapid growth in terms of users, um, they uh, for them you you don't have that much value. So very interesting in terms of uh, profitability, the way we build things usually in France, where we focus on making money 
to selling uh, to have a market fit here they don't care about the market fit they they, are, they just want users to use your solution period so it was just uh, uh, some thought, thoughts that i wanted to share with you uh, don't have all the answers and uh, just uh, diving very deep in this uh, web3 uh, environment and, and trying to share the the, the ideas and uh, and what I the facts that I can so, uh, see on on out there uh, and uh, and how we operate business in a totally different manner from depending if, if you are in the US Europe or basically in Asia. So let's catch up very soon for another episode about uh, Web3. See you.